Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about a palette that I received in the mail from Pure Cosmetics. It's the Transformation Palette. So if you guys would like to see and a look that I did that I created and hear my thoughts on it, keep on watching. I feel paralyzed. I had gotten in the mail the transfer, trans, transformation palette from Pure Cosmetics. I had seen it online and it did kind of catch my eye and it was because of the color combination in there, like some of the colors in there. And I thought, oh, I'd love to see that and try that out. And funny enough, they ended up sending it to me. So I was like, oh my God, okay, cool. So there's five highly pigmented eyeshadows in here. There's a sculpting bronzer and a blush in the palette. All the items and products in here, it has the, it's a Moroccan lava clay. So the pigments and everything acts like a second skin. Everything goes in and blends in really well and looks natural. It does have their trademark skincare ingredients in here that help improve the skin tone over time. So you can get this palette um, at Pure Cosmetics and Alta at this moment for $32. That's how much this palette retails for is $32 at Alta and Pure Cosmetics. First of all, the palette itself is pretty durable. It's pretty heavy. It's not made of cardboard or anything like that. It's more, it possibly could be plastic, but it's pretty heavy. And you open up and you do have a nice size mirror in here, which I was using that. It's really, really nice size mirror. Mine's getting dirty. I might have had one of those protectors in here. I don't know, but my mirror's kind of been getting dirty because I don't have a protector. It could have fell out, but I, I'm not really sure. I didn't notice one in mine, but, but here is the products here, which, sorry for the, it, it's kind of a mirrored um, palette. So sorry for the glare a little bit there. There you have your eyeshadows. There's like the four on the top here. And then this one right here, this black one. And then that's your cheek color and then that's your bronzing so you have your two mattes that are right here this is kind of like almost like a terracotta color this one here and this other matte one is more of a very deep chocolatey brown and then you have like two foiled kind of eyeshadows there's this lighter one here which is just kind of a beigey cream looking color and then you have this gold one here this black here is actually a cream i feel like it's more of an eyeliner which that's what i used it as is an eyeliner so it's like a, a gel cream eyeliner and then these two here obviously you probably can tell they are cream products so the shade name the shade names are i'm not even sure because it doesn't tell you which way to go so i'm just gonna go in the so I'm just going to go in the, holy crap. Well, my bronzer just fell out. So I'll have to be careful of that, but my bronzer fell out. It wasn't glued in too well. I'm just going to go in the order that it has here and I'm just going to guess with it. So I'm guessing this color here. It's called Alter. This color here is Metamorphosis. Rework. And then orig Original. Now, I'm just going by the wording it has here, so I'm not sure if that's in the order or not. Then we have Tailor Made Cheek. Leading Edge and brand new cheek. So the top four, I'm gonna do a swatch real quick. So there they are there. They are very, very pigmented. As much as they swatch on here with the pigmentation, it does as well on the, for on the eyes. So as pigmented and they, they blended really nice 
and worked really nice. So yeah, the pigmentation you see here works just as good for on the eyes. And then the three more cream shades I'll swatch. I'll do the cheek color first. There they are. And as well, they're very pigmented. I am using, I do have a lot of the colors on my eyes from the eyeshadow palette. Now, the bad point um, for me for this palette here is there's nothing here to set the eyeshadow first, but that's not a total deal breaker for me because sometimes I'll use my setting powder. Like after I put my eye primer on, I'll use my setting powder sometimes and just use it to set um, and have a base ready all set uh, for to put the eyeshadows on my eyelids. So that way I don't have a hard time blending in everything. But this could have could have had one in here, like a nice cream, uh, like a matte cream shade or off-white shade or something like that to do that. The other thing is there is no transition shade in here. I actually had to use, and you'll see, I used um, Makeup Geek Cupcake. I used it as like a little bit of a transition shade. That's what I ended up using. It was either that or creme, creme brulee. But there is no transition shade in here that you can use to work in for the look. So this is a two, um, two of the downfalls. The third one, there is one more that um, I kind of felt maybe what they could have done is since these are like cream uh, products, this here ended up getting some of this black a little bit in here. And I felt like maybe they could have put some kind of cover or casing over the cream products to protect them away from each other and from the powdered eyeshadows and everything. I felt like maybe they could have done something like that because it could cause a problem at some point, you know, some of your shadows going into your cream products. So I do think that that would have been nice. Cause I think it's a lovely palette. I mean, you could totally take this with you on a trip. I mean, you could get a nice soft look in, 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 in some sense if you used like this light shade here and then maybe use this brown shade but then again like i said you might have to take a shade with you to do the transition in with it all but it would it would be travel friendly i could see the whole thing because like you got your bronzer and your blush and all that kind of stuff and this is great for an eyeliner i did that's what you see all in through here i mean I, it did work really good for a black eyeliner now the gold does feel like it has some uh, little glitter chunks or something maybe in it. I did have a little bit of a problem with uh, fallout, like just some fallout, like it ended up on my uh, eyelashes and different things. So take that in to note, I did have that. I, when I do my makeup anymore now, I do my eyeshadows first and then I do my foundation and concealer. I found that just to be easier because then that way, if I did have fallout, I'm not like cleaning up a mess and having more of a mess and then re having to apply. And that does totally work. Um, I would recommend that for anybody. Some people like it the other way, but just I've really been loving doing my eyeshadow first, then putting everything else on. Then that way, if you have any problem, fallout or mistake with your eyeliner and your eyeshadows, anything, you don't have to worry about redoing it all. But overall, I really like the palette. I love the colors in here. So I would say I would give it a thumbs up. It is $32. You can get it at Ulta and you can get it at Pure Cosmetics. So let's go ahead and go on to just real quick. You can see how I did the look where you're seeing how I put the colors together. So if you'd like to see that, then stick around.
floating stars came crashing down and we're building back up again now i see your heart see your mind say all you hide i won't let you go can't let this die when you lose yourself i'll be right beside you Okay, beauties, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful. And if you were maybe interested in this palette, kind of gives you a sense of what to look for. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that very much. And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. You can join me each week. I do put videos up every week, so come and join me. I'd love to have you. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys take care. I will see you then. Love you. Bye.